I don't want you to involve yourself in any deviant behavior, else... You'll be disappointed in me and would not spare me. What do you remember? That mother of yours does not value education at all. She said you have to wait for the next academic year. Any time I ask for something, you get angry and complain. Jason doesn't face such problem at all. Her parents will always provide her with whatever she needs. How dare you compare me to someone's parents? Anthony, come. I, I guess it's more than they cry the shot for inside the why should they cry? But mom, you promised. So mom and I was crying because her mom refused to take her to school. Yes, who? Um, is it Jonathan? No. Okay. Is it Gabby? No. All right. Is it Daniel? No. Okay, one more try. See you, Jay. No, Sheridan. So you mean you can't recognize my voice, right? Oh, great. So it's you. <laughs> anyway, I'm so sorry. Besides, you don't usually do this. It's my friend. Please forgive me. Greg. Forgive me! But oh, wait, did you do that see us kiss this tonight? <laughs> Sheridan, what's funny? <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Like, I'll be dead by now. So you mean he didn't see us, right? No. Oh my God, thank you. You know, I wish What I... are you two talking about? N nothing. Nothing. Okay. Anyway, did you watch the movie, Greg? No, I missed it. How about you, Sheridan? I did. The movie was so great. The movie was serious. I mean, it was dope. I totally how I agree. I mean, character wise, delivered. A hundred percent. I thought something like I over know. and over and over and over. Oh, and over. Gentlemen, come here. Why are you not in the dining hall? Since when did eating become so compulsory? Are you a new student? I'm a first year student. Look. But this is my second term in this school, and for that matter, I don't consider myself new. Besides, I've been coming for dining ever since I came to this school. And here lies the case I don't like today's food, I didn't go for dining. You want to punish me? Wow. You are not in a position to like or dislike the food. The rule is you have to eat during dining. Listen, for all you know, I might be doing some hungry students the favor. I'm just saving myself the trouble of having stomach upset. Besides, I don't eat such foods at home. Wow. Follow me. Bad. This is not your house. As soon as you hear the bell, go in there and report yourself to the house master. Is that clear? Is that clear? Let me see. Kneel down. Don't even think of crying, okay? Because I can easily find you. 
Do you get it? What was your cry? I didn't go for dining just because I didn't like the food. And the DHP doesn't seem to understand. <laughs> so you're punished for not eating your own food. <laughs> and you, what was your crime? That so-called compound of Asia wants to turn this school into a labor training center. He asked me last, last Monday to read the back of the canteen and I refused. I'm here to learn and not to do some bunky works. <laughs> I'm Ross and I'm Fee. I, I have a plan. Okay, as you can see, my friend and I are going to the canteen. Yeah, sure, we are. Tomorrow is Wednesday, I invite you for a scripture union meeting. We hope to see you, because we strongly believe the Lord will richly bless all those presents. Mm -hmm. Beloved, you might be hungry and in a hurry to get it. Yeah. But why not go in for the bread of life? For the Bible says in John chapter 6, verse 35, that I am the bread of life, and he who comes to me will never be hungry, and he who believes in me will never be thirsty. So, who is the bread of life? Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Really? Yes. yes. And you can also invite him at your time. God in his own wisdom will lead you up to convenient time. But there are times that he will like you to call upon him. Talk to him in prayer and he will attend to you as early as possible. Yes. You should make it a point to be there. Uh -huh. Anyway, this is a devotional book. Find some readers. Let's close our eyes and pray. Our Heavenly Father, I thank you. Amen. I pray, put you with joy into that day. Father God, everything she has asked of you, Amen. you deliver it unto her in Jesus' name. Yes, that is Jesus concerning her education. You open her mind, give Amen. her understanding, knowledge. Oh my God. Girls, girls. Wendy was like, for God's sake. Which part of this sentence don't you understand? I don't love you. Don't have time for your trust. You <laughs> suck. See my boy. You shouldn't have been that hard on him. Oh, poor boy. I feel so much pity for him. <laughs> Seriously. Only God knows how many times he rehearsed his lines before he approached me. Like a thousand times, I guess. <laughs> and you turned him down, girl. You would have done worse, let me see. Trust me. Listen, girlfriend, look, I hope you get the right. It's so not easy to get about rejections, you know. Especially when you love the person. <laughs> like you can lazy. Wait, 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 wait. In fact, just what was that guy thinking? Seriously, what was he thinking? That his cheap outfit. I mean, those rags that he was wearing. Which are me, Wendy, or what? <laughs> LOL. He might be crazy. Gosh. And which class is this guy anyways? A great cook. A what? Oh my god, a great Yes, a great Oh my god. No, 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 Anyway, can you show me that question? That's a fact, you are new, right? Obviously. I'm Greg. You can call me Greg. Nice meeting you. I'm the freshest boy on campus. Yeah, right. Greg. Right. Anyway, I go by the name Louisa. Louisa, anyway. Wait, why are you guys going? 
We'll be back in a minute. Where are you going? In a minute. Greg! Greg! So how is this cool? Does it have all the quality modern facilities? So, you didn't find out before coming here to Louisa? No worries. This school is one of the very best in the country. You'll be glad to be here. Well, I hope so. I just hate substandard, you know. Hmm. You know, this is the reason why I don't like them one bit. The other two are annoying. Can you imagine what they were trying to do after I left them? What did they tell you? They invited me to SU and I said they've not wasted enough of my time. They asked me to close my eyes for a prayer. <laughs> a prayer that will last till break over. I don't even know. Sorry, you didn't even know. Okay. <laughs> oh, guys, I have an idea. Today, no dining for us. Dining sucks. Let's get to the cafeteria, get some juice, soda, ice cream, you know, anything tasty, what do you think? I like it. Um, but first of all, let's get some cold drinks for ourselves, okay? Yes, yeah, sure, sure. I like it. Oh my, come on. I like that, yes. Why? Aren't oh, you cool. really cool. Yeah, I'm very cool. Hi. Good to see you. Hey, but, girls, seriously, it's good about me nowadays. Yeah. And I can't even believe we are getting closer to our end of term exams. Huh. Can't think of it, girls. We've not been to prep for some time now. Mm. Oh, please. Come on. No need to panic. It's just a normal terminal exam. Oh. Yep. I do feel it's fine. Right. We like All we need to do is to study and revise. Really? Yeah. And so. we will be fine. Yeah. I don't know why you guys are making this a big deal. After all, you got an F9, you got an E8. <laughs> oh my god! Don't that is a cool. That is a cool. That is a cool. That is a cool at all. Both of you? No, no sir. sir. Um, sir, the dining hall prefect asked me to come and tell you that today's food wasn't prepared well. It was very salty and, and maggots were found in it. So a lot of students couldn't eat the food. What was found in it? A lot of maggots. And the dining hall prefect sent you to tell me that? Yes, yes sir. Come on, sir. Are you sure of what you're saying? Yes, yes sir. So where's the dining hall prefect? Call me the Daniel Prophet. You when you see the company for We are in the revision week, and instead of him revising with us today, he was rather tweeting you talking. Oh, I mean, how? I think I'm going crazy. Do you feel the law of money? I came as soon as I got your message. So, how is my princess doing? The only door to my heart. And the reason I breathe. I'm doing fine. I'm stop clutching me, okay? Anyway, I hope you brought my iPhone. I forgot. Ross! Gotcha! <laughs> oh, thanks, Ross! You are a darling! <laughs> darling, as in person, or for the sake of the iPhone. Remember the last time you took a pop AP off to the dance hall and you got caught, eh? That was quite embarrassing. We wouldn't want the same thing to happen to you. I mean, no hard feelings. We are just worried about you. Thanks, man, but see, that was due to my carelessness. 